know, a lot of us don't look up. We're so busy with life and how and the way that it's going for us. But sometimes it's good to look up. Look at everything, how beautiful it is. You know, that's what we don't do. But just know, you know, your life is too precious to be worried about the bullshit that's going on. And just remember, <clears throat> stay strong, stay at what you're trying to get done. Hey, I'm showing love to whoever. Show me the most love on this video. I'm going to send you a $10 Starbucks card. I'm going to get the address from you and send it to you ASAP. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe when this video drop. I want to talk about um, the whole nigga, this cruise incident. It's kind of weird that this keeps happening and that this is one of our millennials, one of, this is going to be one of their biggest issues is how gun violence and like mass murders is attacking their culture. So then growing up in the 2000s and the 19 or in the late 1990s and they're seeing nothing but hypocrisy, idiocracy, murders, violence, um, drug abuse. They got it tough, man. They have it tough and um, I just want to explain to anybody who listens, especially people in law or people in psychology uh just want to run by like three different things that might have caused this shooting or caused this person attitude to go into a level the first issue with the uh the nick of this cruise in the, in the florida shooting in the high school shoot was the fact that equality means that anybody without any constraint can order and purchase a firearm right so with equality if you somebody of a certain ethnicity you automatically get a pass to walk in and order every firearm that you you know that you want and that leaves that leaves an open space for people with psycho traumatic and and you know this disgusting views upon people that actually want a lot of people to die so it's all based on uh uh, uh it's a racial equality law second term why this hey well, this guy probably grew into, you know, the monster that committed a crime so terrible is because avoid judgment. You know, some people, when they do crazy things that lead up to it, you know, we could tell it's telltale signs and symptoms of somebody who would be like a mass killer. And the one thing that we're all not focusing on is the fact that he felt no type of um, he felt no type of legal consequence. He felt no consequence from contemplating how many people he was going to kill and what he was and how he was going to do it. Now when now that that leads to we need stricter online laws. People already know that the internet is filled with uh, snitch culture, people that tell on you, but how, how true is that? Because if that, was, if that was so true that, you know, uh, certain government agencies is watching your online presence, then this could have not been this could have been prevented. Um, our generation under us, the people in the 1990s and on, they have to deal with mass killers and that's all they know. It's not too many positive role models 
um, it's a few, but it's really not too many. But void judgment, basically meaning, oh, he says online he's going to shoot up the school, he's going to kill everybody, but he hasn't actually did it. So he's compelled to grow that thought into an actual action, and the FBI is compelled to miss out on saving almost 30 people from, you know, this trauma and then almost a few thousand or maybe a million because one family member knows another family member another family member and it grows out to the tree in 17 families you can easily reach uh, a billion people um, that's connected from just knowing each other so what he did basically didn't have any judgment so he felt he can grow that action he can grow that thought into an action, killing as many people as he did. Turn is internal communication. Um, people need to learn how to deal with homicidal thoughts. Um, they need to be class training on homicidal thoughts, homicidal um, active people who just think about hurting somebody else that would be something to put inside of the schools you know um especially in neighborhoods where people are constantly killing each other you know i don't want to name any places but it's true um that could be combated that could be very much combated um with this nicholas cruz guy training internal communication talking throughout your class members talking throughout your family dealing teaching people how to deal with homicidal thoughts um would be good i mean what else are we teaching what else are we teaching inside the schools you know and especially in high school um uh, you know, most most kids around this time now, they think it's cool to take somebody else's life or do wrong. And in areas like that, that needs to be, you know, there needs to be a communication, you know, between the family and the classes. Sorry for all the movement, guys, but that's my take on the Nicholas Cruz incident. My whole thing is not trying to explain why the why the whole situation happened. I just want.